It's the most wonderful time for resolutions. There'll be gaming and YouTube and lots of tea drank for Terry 3 yo Nine, 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 nine. Terry. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Majority, here to close off the year with uh, some YouTube and gaming resolutions for the year of 2021. Very exciting. I like doing these annually. I didn't do any for 2019, but I did for uh, 2020 as well as 2018. So those are worth going back and checking out if you have some time. And I want to start by talking just generally about like how I'm doing. Uh, last time I started Q&A by letting everyone know that like my mental health, I wasn't in a great space. I'm somewhat better now. And uh, I've taken some time to really just rip the band-aid off of something that was bugging me. And uh, I'm happy to say it's uh, I'm progressing with it. So, um, but it is something I want to keep working on and uh, bringing attention to because I, I don't think if, if you haven't gone out of your way to learn about mental health or to study these things, a lot of these ideas may be foreign. You may not understand why people feel the way they do or why they have the reactions they do. So it's something that I want to be more deliberate with and to kind of lean into as opposed to shy away from. It's one of the best recovery steps as well is to kind of just own it. And so I just want to be more transparent, as transparent as possible. And uh, yeah, and just kind of continue to better myself and to be a better person in the spirit of resolutions. Uh, speaking of becoming better, uh, why don't you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? Uh, I like making gaming content as well as uh, just talking generally and just kind of being an open book. And uh, you can expect more of that here. Um, of course, you know, I mean, you're here, aren't you? So uh, that's a good first step, right? Um, I want to talk about how during 2021, my job came back into kind of like full on, full time, same workload. Whereas 2020 was more of a time to just kind of slow down a bit with it and to be more intentional. And so my job life became much more time consuming. And at the same time, I got better with it. And so I started enjoying it more. Uh, whereas in the past, I've kind of grieved or lamented over uh, my work. And so there's pluses and minuses for that. The plus is that like I, I can say I, I like my job. You know, I enjoy what I do. Uh, and that's not this. And, you know, if it was this, that's great, but it's not. So, you know, it's what it is. But um, the downside is I had a system going during the year where I was like, you know, part remote and then like the workload wasn't as bad where I was able to output a lot of video content. I had the whole Majority Speaks Return series going, and unfortunately, by October, I was not able to continue doing that. I did do something pretty amazing um, with Alex, which I'll talk about in a moment, but the Majority Speaks Returns run was really good while it lasted. There's a great playlist of Majority Speaks Returns content. It was great to see how it evolved over the course of the year. Things like including viewer voicemails or audience Q&A from Discord and, you know, trying to blend in uh, majority casts and hardware reviews and some game reviews here and there, some just general vlogs and, of course, table topics, another topic worth discussing that is worth celebrating. The big thing that I'd say like maybe is a highlight for this year was the channel swap with Alex. We both swapped channels and we put out content on each other's channels. He put some great stuff on mine. I put some great stuff on his. Uh, he did a great job with table topics. I also liked his uh, Game & Watch hardware review. That's very inspired. You should watch that if you haven't already. He did a beginner's guide for EDF and um, then a video essay on Sonic Mania. And uh, I think he, he did my Q&A as well. So, you know, he really took the, the brunt or the, the, the workload over there. And then on his channel, I put out a review for Darius Gaiden. And um, I don't even remember what all else. Uh, I think uh, ranking the Dragon Quest games and uh, commercials with Spencer. And um, also a Turbo Dojo episode with Damon. So I do remember. <laughs> Just took a moment. But uh, yeah, some great content. Um, on both channels and it was really unique and it kind of offered me an interesting perspective on like you know the types of content I could put out over there 
And it was also good for me too, especially at that time where it was a bit more trying. And Alex is a good friend and I trust him. I trust him with, you know, being able to put out videos on my channel. And, and I think that's like, I don't know how many people who are on YouTube could say they've done something similar with somebody who's close to them. So like, that's, that's a big move. Table Topics, we were on that topic, has been just, I think, an astronomical success this year. I love the integration. If you just check out the Community Table Topics playlist, that's just worth watching to just see like kind of like a, a compilation of like people's responses to topics. Not too many dry topics this year. I didn't repeat like too much about like characters or things like that. And so, uh, yeah, Community Table Topics is a blast. Speaking of blast, my heater's blasting, so I'm going to put the glasses case on it. That's better. Uh, okay, and I, last year I did say I wanted to do a couple uh, things this year, and I've accomplished some of them, and others I haven't. And I want to start by talking about challenge runs. So just before I came into this video today, I set up a playlist of all of my speed runs. I remembered, oh yeah, I did Link to the Past. I, play, I played that in one sitting. I think I played it like back to back. I did it under six hours. I also did a charity run for Donkey Kong Country. So uh, that was a, a big moment. And... Uh, you know, I think it was nice of me to do challenges. I had said last year about doing the Majora's Mask 3 Heart Run. This just wasn't the year for it. And so, um, I don't know. I, I'll eventually maybe come back to that. But as far as this year goes, like, there are some decent completion runs that you can check out. I set up the playlist. You can go to the channel. You can go to my playlist. You can check it out there. Uh, I want to talk about some of uh, the other friendly channels, you know, that... Um, my primary channel is the ones I integrate with because I've done some good work over there too. Button Mappers, way to go, 100 subscribers, woohoo! That's, uh, of course, my podcast channel with Alex and Spencer. We've done a lot of great content. We've uploaded a podcast every Monday. We started putting out clips, started sharing to Reddit for better or worse. And uh, this year has been home to what I consider some of the best map outs uh, that we've done. I absolutely love and laugh uh, at like just the majority of them. Uh, like things like the Pokemon uh, Gen 2 map out, uh, you know, and like things like uh, different, um, oh, what did I do? Ah, Jesus, I can't remember at this point. Like I had like a different name of like different locations and I was like torturing Alex and Spencer. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, we had like DK Lore Plus and like, you know, the, the Diddy's uh, in love with his sister, weird arc, like that, that was funny. Um, and the Donkey Kong month in general. And uh, Shadow of the Colossus with Daniel Santos, like that was just uh, three hours of just, that was a movie, man. That was, that was incredible. I loved it. And there's many more. Uh, Banjo Pilot, that was amazing. Uh, so yeah, the button map is, that's, that's my home. And it's, it's an open home. You're welcome to, to join us there. I hope you check us out. Um, and then also in terms of other updates for the button mappers, you know, I was putting a lot of time and energy into doing clips and segments and unfortunately just with the way work has been going it's been hard to to take time to to splice and to edit and to set these things up so um i've had to pause on um doing that for a little bit i think when there's more time i'll try and pick up the workload but for now spencer's the champ he's doing great work over there speaking of spencer uh on his channel rpg archive he also broke 100 subscribers way to go man way to go archiving these rpgs uh, I've been with him for six of the uh, six archives this year, and um, I think I think it's been Dragon Quest three, four, five, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Shin Megami Tensei three, Nocturne. I might be missing one, but hey, some big games! And holy smokes, was I able to play all six of those RPGs this year? That's good. Do you remember like three years ago? I was saying, oh, I wish I could play more RPGs. Well. <laughs> Look at me now, boy. <laughs> Man, I'm crushing it on the RPG game. So um, I've been enjoying playing RPGs and kind of having somebody to play them with. It's given me incentive and momentum to continue through them. And I, that was one of my goals was to get up to Dragon Quest V this year. And I did it. Like, I'm halfway through the Dragon Quest about, well, well, technically in terms of games, but not in terms of hours. Some of those later ones are in, like, the 100-hour mark. So that's going to be intense. I, I have... Uh, less expectations as far as like getting further in those um, but great stuff happening on his channel he does great with his clips he does great with his, the full archives and uh those are speaking of movies man those are worth watching too so uh, when you have some downtime check out rpg archive and then also i gotta give big ups to my man alex from turbo zone 
Turbo, I know he's had a uh, he he has a little bit harder time putting out as much content as like me or Spencer, but I still think he's done great things. He did an amazing job with the uh, first off, let alone uh, the channel swap, which was awesome. He did review month for the every single day of November, a different review was coming out and a lot of great reviews so worth checking out. He had a lot of great guests on there and uh, Turbo Zone is also my home. It's, you know, it's just worth going to see and he's he's got a great spirit, I think. And um, I think it comes through in his videos and I'm very uh, happy to be, you know, a partner with him and working with him on all of this great content over on the Button Mappers, over on his channel, over on my channel, all these channels, all of these channels, man. So good, so good. And then, of course, um, I think the video that I am most proud of from this year is actually not something that came out on this channel. It was a, a tribute song to Spencer. And it's the only song I worked on this year with Alex. And uh, it's just full of good laughs, good times, a lot of insider jokes, too. It's published on the Button Mappers channel. Uh, so you could check it out there. Uh, but we did it over a Chrono Trigger rap track. And uh, it was just, I go back and I listen to it. If we do like a Button Mappers bop album or Button Mappers classics, that would be on there. So, uh, and I've realized something that like with, when it comes to songs, Obviously, I like putting in the production and making like the music video and stuff like I like doing that for MVG. But uh, when when I do that, I'm realizing that because of just like how intense my workload is and my personal life, uh, that that's just not feasible in a short term. I need like years to do it. So like I've got one track I was working on and I'm like halfway done. But I think I psyched myself out because of like I just started getting caught up in like, oh, it's going to take too long to make a video and to do all of this and that. Uh, so I think when I, I work on uh, music tracks, I'm going to try and just focus on the track first, get the track up, and then uh, we can worry or think or consider, do we want to do a video for this and how will that look? 2021, man, is this has this been a year? Like this was a full year? God damn, like this was insane. Um, this one moved fast and like I'm really shocked we're going into 2022. But I've met a lot of personal goals. I've met a lot of video goals um, and even just gaming goals. And so for that, I can be thankful. I can be proud. I've been healthy and worked on my health, my mental health in that time frame as well. Now it's time to re make resolute. What are my resolutions? Uh, what, do, what do I hope to accomplish within the new year? Well, I'd like to start vague and kind of work my way in. And in terms of YouTube, I want to be on a healthy production schedule. I don't think I want to burn myself out, but at the same time, I do want to be productive. I want to be able to continue to put out great videos and stuff that people will want to watch. I think that the clip thing, if I don't drag it too much, will be a good um, path for me to do like every week. I would like to ideally stay on the bi-weekly upload schedule. I don't think I can continue to do Majority Speaks Returns. Uh, maybe like I'll do a celebration one once a year or something, but uh, it just, it's, it's beyond the realm of feasibility at this moment in time. In fact, come February, I'll be taking a month off from the button mappers and probably this channel too, unless I do some Q and A and some easy content, uh, simply because I have my own work goals I have to focus on. Um, but I want to come back strong. I want to put out some great content and I want to, I want to be able to produce as much content as I'd like. I'd like to make good use of the green screen here. This was a Christmas gift from my lovely missus. And, uh, yeah, I don't, and, uh, I, I just want to, I want to maintain and I want to be healthy and I don't want to lose what I've already, uh, gained and begun. But, you know, I know that social media can take a toll on people. So that's why, like, I just want it to be healthy. In an ideal world, I would like to keep up the uh, two videos a week model, but at the very least, one per week on this main channel. And um, yeah, I think I can do it. I can do it, especially with the Q&A model. You know, in the Discord, I do take questions for Q&A every month, and then I kind of make clips out of those where I can. So if you'd like, check out Sworn Brothers, the Discord, and the description below if you haven't already and uh, ask me a question about games about youtube about whatever and i'll see if i see if i'd like to answer it on a future episode uh, as far as the button mappers go we have our own goals maybe that might be worth doing as a topic on that channel it's just like what do we hope to accomplish for the new year but i mean i just want to be consistent we are going to take the month off but in an ideal world i would like to keep up 
the weekly episode every Monday. Um, I think that's been great. So button mappers, perfect. Um, as far as RP, well, hmm, RPG archive, I don't know. That's a, I don't want to talk about goals there. That's a little different. That's Spencer's channel. That's he can have me on if he wants, <laughs> if he likes what I've what I've contributed so far. So, um, but as far as um, gaming goes, I, I want to be intentional this year, and I want to play, of course, more Dragon Quest, but within reason. I think uh, I, I didn't burn myself out, but I played a lot. I played three, four, and five this year. Um, and it took me all year to do so. Um, and I think I was psyching myself out a little bit. I'd like to get through six and seven by next year. Seven's a bit longer. It's probably the length of two uh, Dragon Quest games. But I'd also like to play... First, I want to finish SMT5. Uh, I want to beat Dragon Quest Six, And I want to play more spin-off games. So, like, um, within the SMT universe or within the Dragon Quest universe, I want to be able to commit to uh, some of the great spinoffs that exist. You know, there's the Raido Kuzanoa games, there's the Dragon Warrior Monsters games, um, and I, I think there's a lot of opportunity there as well. As far as other gaming goals, I just, I don't know, I'd like to make more use of a particular system or systems, I'm not sure which at this time. Maybe Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I think I'd just like to play through more games that aren't that long that are kind of old school and retro i think it's just easier to make videos on like i was doing um speed run the other day or not speed run uh, a sega streaming uh video where i was playing castlevania bloodlines and darius and i actually made it pretty far in both of those games so more old school platformers and spaceship shooter games i think that would be awesome uh and as far as putting a number on it i don't really care to just more just play more of them um and then as far as challenges go, uh, I want to do at least one more charity run and I want to do uh, another Zelda run. Whether that's the Three Heart Majora's Mask run or something else, that's fine. Um, I just think uh, it's fun to kind of like create these challenges and to enjoy them in whatever way I so choose. Guys, it's me, Majora T. I was very happy to be here this year coming out with amazing content for everybody um, i'm proud of it i hope you enjoyed it and uh, are here for the long haul for the run with me it's gonna be good and uh you know we got a lot of great things to look forward to cheers and uh i'll see you with one more video this year ideally and with plenty of videos in the new year take it easy ladies and gentlemen talk soon <laughs>